This is your no BS guide to setting up an abandoned cart and abandoned checkout flow for your e-commerce store. A recent study showed that 70% of e-commerce carts are abandoned. So if you don't have these in place or you only have one to two emails, you're quite literally leaving thousands of dollars every single month on the table. I'll be going over how to set up your emails, what strategy you should be using, and I'll also be building out an email with you live. Step zero is getting your email service provider, aka Klaviyo, set up. Get your store on Klaviyo if you haven't already. I've used them all, MailChimp, HubSpot, even and Shopify's abandoned cart setup stuff, Klaviyo just blows them all out of the water. Step one, check to make sure that you have both the abandoned cart and the abandoned checkout triggers. Important to note that these are separate actions. Abandoned cart is different from abandoned checkout. Abandoning a cart looks like this. And abandoning a checkout looks like this. Eighty percent of the brands that I audit, including brands above a million dollars a month, don't even have the abandoned cart trigger installed, and that's the majority of your abandonments. So you're leaving a ton of money on the table. And here's how you check in Clavio if you have these metrics installed. You just want to go to Analytics, then you want to go to Metrics. Once you are inside, you want to look for Added to Cart, and that is this trigger. And then you want to make sure that it is firing. So if you click on, if it's occurring, you have it fired. And then the abandoned checkout trigger is just going to be Checkout Started. Make sure it's occurring and boom, you're all set there. So now you can create the flows inside of Klaviyo. Once you have the triggers, it is super easy to install and I'll go through it right now. So all you have to do inside of Klaviyo is go to flows here on the left side. You just wanna go to create flow in the top corner. I would avoid using any of the templates that is gonna show up here. I would just create from scratch and then you wanna name it. So in this case, we're going to do the abandoned cart flow and then we need to set the metric. Now, as long as you have the metric installed for added to cart, it should show up right here. You set that and then boom, now you have a flow with the action of whenever somebody adds to cart, they'll enter this flow. But you're not done yet. You have to set your flow filters to make sure that somebody who doesn't purchase also gets the abandoned cart flow. So what you want to do is you want to click on the trigger up here and go to flow filter. Now flow filters, anytime somebody is about to receive an email in this flow, it's going to run these through that profile and see if they fit any of the parameters. So we're just going to add a flow filter here. We're going to say what somebody has done. We're going to make sure they haven't started checkout zero times since starting this flow and what someone has done somebody hasn't made a purchase so let's say placed order zero times since starting this flow and last but not least we also don't want somebody who's abandoned cart in consecutive days to continue to receive the flow so we're going to add another condition saying has not been in this flow in the last 30 days and then we're just going to click save here and now we can actually map out the flow with the time differences in the emails and this is really just going to be the bulk of your strategy i went ahead and created two different variations of abandoned cart and abandoned checkout flows for you to use and create your strategy out of. There's one that's for beginners and then there's one that's more advanced. Now right here is the beginner layout. Go on ahead and take it for yourself. After somebody adds to cart, we're going to wait 30 to 40 minutes and then we're just gonna send them a general nudge. Then after one to two days, we're gonna send another reminder and we're gonna hit them with social proof such as testimonials or anything about the brand that makes you more reputable. And then after a couple more days, we're going to send them a 24 hour flash discount to try to get them over the edge. Now here is the more advanced layout, which is going to generate two to three times more sales. It's the same sort of deal, but we're also mixing in a bunch of different splits based on product. And we're also introducing text based emails. So you can see we're just kind of starting off with some reminders and social proof at the beginning. And then we're going to split based on what item the person abandoned. That way, if someone abandons a pair of pants, they're not going to be getting information or testimonials on a t-shirt. Then we're going to add some urgency and we're going to make sure that when we send a flash discount on the end with a few different reminders, we're not sending that to somebody who's recently purchased. I'm going to show you how to upload just the base flow inside of Klaviyo. So you just want to add your time delays on the left side. For this first one, we are going to make it 45 minutes and then we are going to add an email. Then we will add another time delay. This one we will do two days. Then another email here with another time delay for two days and then a final last email next we want to just briefly make sure that smart sending is turned off so smart sending is going to prohibit people from sending emails at certain times of the day or if they've received an email recently this is a very high intent flow and we want to make sure that everybody who has abandoned a cart is going to receive these emails to create your emails we're just going to click onto here and then configure content and then we can go back and edit the subject line in the preview text later for now I'm just 
just going to show you the drag and drop. Let's just create a blank email and I'll just build it live with you guys. So this is what it automatically looks inside of Klaviyo. You have a header bar and then you have some content. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to completely wipe this besides the footer at the bottom. And now we're just going to insert an image slice and this is what we're going to put the top logo in. So right here, I just put in a file. You can see the dimensions here. We're going to go on ahead and clone this just so we have another image. And we're going to place with a top header that just says our base headline. Just inserted a very simple header that just says forgetting something. And now we need to actually put our dynamic abandoned cart content. First, you want to insert a table here because we're going to have a picture of the product. And then we're also going to have the dynamic text. We're going to go to table settings and then we're going to make this dynamic. Now, in most cases, row collection is just going to be this. And then row Elias is just going to be item. And then once that is set, you can go on ahead and go back to content. And now this has the ability to pull information straight from Shopify. So I just changed this to an image on the left and then we'll have text on the right. So on the left side, we want to add a dynamic image here. And in general, the basic formula that you're going to use is this here. It's kind of long. You just copy and paste this and then going to the text here. This is what I recommend. Just replace this with this. Boom, the item product title, the quantity, and then the total price. And then for your links and the URLs on your buttons, you want to use this link here. This is a dynamic link and it's going to go straight to the person's checkout. Now we just want to add a button here. We can just say finish my order add the url right here i just changed the width to be a little bit longer i spread this out we also want to add a little bit of social proof so that's what i'm going to do with simple icons going to drag an image block here so boom right here we have free shipping on all orders free returns on all orders within 30 days and 5,000 plus five star reviews now you may also want to consider adding some text here saying my cart maybe make this a little bit bigger and then we'll add some spacing here to make sure that this is spread out nice and clean. Now we can adjust the subject line in the preview text. For this case, you might want to do something just like forgetting something in preview text. You want to extend on the subject line a little bit. We can say something like finish your order inside. Once you have the rest of the content filled out, you can do pretty much the same things. You want to use the same table that I showed you in this first email. And then once you are good to turn live, you just go up to review and turn on and then turn on. On. Now it's very important to also be optimizing over time and doing more advanced features. So I'm going to show you real quick how to do A to B tests and then how to make different splits based on the person that is inside of your flow. So setting up an A to B test is very simple. You just go to conditional split here, drag it to wherever you want to be, select a condition, then you just want to do random sample 50% so that it's even. And then right here, I assume the email is probably going to be really similar that you're A to B testing. So you just want to clone this email, drag it here, and then you want to reconnect this side into the remainder of the flow. Now you can do splits of all different types. I'd mess around with it. Something that we do pretty frequently is splits based on if somebody has purchased from your brand before. Insert a conditional split. You can say what somebody has done, placed order at least once over all time. This email, we only want it to be sent to people who have bought before and then people who haven't, we're just going to reconnect them here and they're not going to receive this email. Now something fancy you can also do is do trigger splits. This is a little bit more advanced, but this is talking specifically to the the product that the person abandoned their cart with. So you can do dimensions here, look at what they have to offer. You can do the item names and then look up the name inside of Shopify of the item you're talking about and then insert it here. And then it's going to come up with some options. Then you just click whichever one you want to do. Now I actually just navigated back to the flows tab because we haven't done the checkout abandoned flow. So it's super simple. Now that we have the abandoned cart flow, we're going to go here. We're just going to make a clone and we're going to say abandoned checkout, go to trigger and do the checkout started trigger clone flow. All that we need to change is the dynamic elements. I just found the flow here. If you click on, it's going to be the exact same thing. Even the filters, it's just a checkout started trigger. This is more advanced, but again, you should reach out to a Klaviyo expert because the dynamic content is going to be slightly different with abandoned checkout versus abandoned cart. What I mean is this dynamic content here is going to be a little bit different. The link is going to be different and the image is going to be different.
different. I appreciate you watching. Consider leaving a like and subscribing. That lets me know that you like the content that you're seeing. Now you can absolutely take this information and apply it on your own, but there's a ton of nuances. Probably gonna pull your hair out in frustration. So feel free to email me, max at wellcopy.net. And if you're doing at least $50,000 a month with your e-com store and are considering handing things off in terms of your email marketing strategy, then book a call below and we could help get you figured out. Also click on this video for more information on email marketing. It's a complete A to Z tutorial on getting set up with email marketing for e-commerce. Again, appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next one.